An omelet with potatoes? You got it. Hey, Chef Des coming at you from my kitchen again, and today, yeah, I'm going to show you how to make an omelet with potatoes and eggs. It's going to be awesome. It's called the Spanish omelet, and it's so tasty. The first thing we're going to do is head over to the stovetop. So we're going to get a large 12 to 13 inch nonstick pan, and then medium heat, and let that warm up. Once your pan's preheated, we're going to start off with a couple tablespoons of olive oil. And then just swirl that in the pan to make sure it's thoroughly coated up the sides a little bit. Then we're going to add three things to the pan. The first thing are the potatoes. This is about four Yukon Gold potatoes, about one pound worth. And I've sliced them in a quarter inch thickness. And we're going to add that to the oil. Then one onion sliced really thin. And a teaspoon of salt. Then we're going to combine this together and let that cook for about 10 minutes, stirring occasionally so we get nice and coated with the oil and the salt. If you feel adventurous, you could try doing pan flipping with this. And we're going to stir that just occasionally. While that's cooking for the 10 minutes, let's go back to the countertop. All right, let's take eight BC eggs. Always remember, every single large BC egg has 14 key nutrients all nine essential amino acids, over six grams of the highest quality protein you can get. And one large egg, it's only 80 calories. So let's take eight of these eggs. We need eight. This is a big size omelet that we're going to cut into wedges. And we're going to put them in a big mixing bowl. Don't forget to stir your potatoes and onion. To those eggs, we're going to add one teaspoon of hot sauce. I'm just using a sriracha, but any hot sauce will work. Another teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of pepper, and a quarter cup of finely chopped fresh parsley. And then combine those eggs together with those ingredients. And we're going to set that aside. All right, once we reach that 10 minutes, what we're going to do is we're going to add three quarter of a cup diced bell pepper. The recipe says red. I did a little combination of red, orange, and yellow. And then four cloves of minced garlic. And we're going to toss all that together and cook for another five minutes. And what we're looking for after another five minutes is for those potatoes to be tender and the onions just starting to brown. And same as before, just keep stirring occasionally during that five minutes. Okay, after that five minutes, you're going to want to make sure the potatoes are tender. So I just take a spoon and I see if I can easily break the potato and I can, so I know they're tender. And what we're going to do is we're going to add this potato mixture in with the BC egg mixture. Let's take this pan and put it back on the heat. And we're just going to stir this together quickly. Make sure all those potatoes are coated with those lovely BC eggs. And let's go back over the stovetop. With that pan back on the heat, medium heat, we're going to add another two tablespoons of olive oil. Swirl it around, getting it up the sides, and then take that egg and potato mixture and pour it in the pan. At this point, you're going to want to take an opportunity to make sure everything is smoothed out in a nice, even layer. And we're going to let that cook for two minutes on medium heat. And then we're going to reduce the heat down to medium low and cook for another 10 to 15 minutes. In that two minutes, you're going to see the eggs set on the side of the omelet. And then for the 10 to 15 minutes on medium low, we're going to wait for this to be almost set. And I'll show you that. So at this point, after the two minutes, still on medium heat, you will see again that the eggs are starting to set around the edge, but the center is still quite jiggly. So in order to cook this all the way through evenly, we need to reduce down the heat to medium low and then let that cook for about 10 or 15 minutes and I'll show you the next stage. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes now and you can see if I shake the pan, they're not completely set, but mostly set. A lot better than it was before. So what I want you to do next, and this part's a little tricky, so just be patient with yourself. Take a spatula and just loosen the edges. It should have no problem because we put that olive oil in there. Okay, 
So what we need to do is try and flip this over, but we don't want to take the pan and try and flip it in the pan because it's going to break for sure. So what I want you to get is a large pizza pan or a large tray, something like that, where you can fit the tray over the pan. And then we're going to take the pan and the tray and flip it over that way and then slide the omelet back into the pan so we can cook this side on the bottom of the pan. So I recommend getting some oven mitts and I even recommend doing this over the counter instead of your stovetop, just in case you happen to spill and flip it over carefully. Take the pan, see that? And then just slide it back into the pan. And that will let the other side cook. And that side's gonna cook for about five minutes just to get that underside brown, which was the top side. Okay, after that five minutes, which was still on the medium low heat, by the way, we're now gonna transfer this onto that pan so we can cut it into wedges. So this will make about six or eight portions, depending on the size you want them. So we're just gonna take a knife and cut into this. And you don't even need to plate it. You could just cut it into wedges and then put this whole tray at the table if you wanted to and let everybody help themselves. Oh, it smells amazing. Then you can get underneath and you serve one of those wedges. Look at that, beautiful. Now there's many different ways that you could top this. A very simple way is a little bit of sour cream and then a little splash of parsley. I keep some reserve from when we had some before in the egg mixture. Put a little bit on the plate too. And there you have the most spectacular Spanish omelet you're ever gonna have. Make sure you're checking out this recipe and a whole bunch of others and egg tips too from yours truly, Corporate Chef of BC Egg at bcegg.com. And this is Chef Dez signing out. Where are you getting your protein from?